Glory to the majestic power, Abi Howe and his son, and my Shaqiao Shah, to my brothers and sisters out there in this truth. Shalom, boy Zagar is coming to you real quick one. In the name of our beloved apostle Jude, I say, let mercy, peace, love be multiplied upon you. We're coming at you a real quick one here. This one is basically Halo, the series commentary. Yeah, it used to be a video game back in the days when it first came out on our Xbox, right? And it obviously went on to be Halo 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And turned into a franchise. Now they made a series out of it. It was pretty good uh, if you played a video game back in the days. But now we get older, we look at everything spiritual. That said, a little backdrop on it. This is about, um, you know, super soldiers, right? E makes a bunch of super soldiers. They're Marines. Um, this one in particular is Master Chief, right? And then he has other Marines around him. Um, as the story progresses, uh, they've come across an enemy that's called a Covenant, right? Can't make this stuff up. Now, the Covenant has multiple species. In particular is these eight foot, nine foot tall warriors, right? They look like seraphims. Not, not the fiery ones, but you know the resemblance of them and these particular ones have two edged swords in their hands you can't make this stuff up and they're battling now for the dominance but the covenant basically goes around and waxes off the planet which they call glassing all right so without further ado take a listen i'm going to a clip and a prayer one of the head head honchos of the the covenant set all right so i'm gonna dive in here fair use act of 1976 it's just for commentary purpose i don't own this video no i'm making any money off of it all right Let's start off with a quick scripture isaiah 13 and 9 behold the days of the lord coming cruel both with wrath and with fierce anger to lay the land desolate which is you're going to hear what the the prayer what they're going to go into right and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it for the stars of heaven and the constellation thereof shall not give their light, right? Because the Lord's going to make sure this place is microwaved, basically. The sun shall not be darkened, therefore, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for the evil, and the wicked for the iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, which is coming real soon to a place near you. Just all you gotta do is look at the signs of the times we're in. The blood moon, uh, the sun being blocked out, and obviously geopolitics just heating up right now. All right, I'm gonna jump into the clip, do a little commentary, and hit y'all with a precept at the end. See, it's a prayer now. To give you an understanding of what's going on, she's a Marine and the other guy's a Marine, but he's called the um, Master Chief. Right now, even how the alien or the covenant greeted the people is is crazy. I bring you blessings. Like, come on, that's what we say: peace and blessings. That's, that's why I started off with the Book of Jude. Mm, no mercy, no pity. Check that part out, right? A burnt offering. Now, what does the scripture say? Right? The scripture say that basically, or alludes to, that the Lord is going to use Babylon as a burnt offering to the Father, right? To say, listen, this is the reward of the wicked. That's another super soldier right there. Mm. Mm. Now you notice how the camera pants to a certain uh, uh, tribe as these things are being um, um, belched out. Like, like this is how you know they know what it is, right? Just pay attention to the words and the scenes happening with the words. 
may his blood mark the way to the sacred ring and consecrate the great journey of my people. Mm, my people. Now this dude, he's like the Elon Musk, right? Basically of, of, of that realm that they're in. Now check out the covenant's name. I am Val Gatanaya. That's basically Adonai. Adonai means Lord. That's the Hebrew word for Lord. Like, come on, man. So basically, this guy, he killed his family off because he didn't want the covenant to kill him. So what you're seeing is his family being killed off. Yep, they're already here, right? As you can read, was it Second Kings chapter six? Uh, I believe it was uh, verses six. Hold me to that. When uh, Elisha was praying to Elijah, and and Elijah said, "Open his eyes," and uh, and you saw an entire armada up there in the heavens, right? So basically, that's what that's going into. Like they're already here. Out a quick scripture, because you know what I'm saying that covenant. Or whatever the entity was said a lot. So let's get the word of the Lord because we know that's fiction. Let's get the real deal. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there's no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. And that goes both ways when he's when the Lord is saying that. I mean, the Lord has you in his hand. No one could pluck you out to kill you. And, and if the Lord have you in his hand to sacrifice you, there's no one could save you. So that's that scripture is heavy. Right. And that's what they were alluding to when the guy was like, listen, I'm 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 basically an instrument of destruction. Right. So the Lord was basically saying, I mean, just forewarn these heathens before time. This is going to go down. Right. And it's playing out exactly how these ancient records prophesied it 2,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago. No matter how many times they say it's been tampered with, for some reason, this book is accurate every step of the way, right? And with that, brothers, hope y'all got some nice real quick one. I mean, to hold y'all too long. A little um, one-two with it. And, uh, you know, see y'all next time. Be the Lord's will. Y'all rock this out. Love y'all. Shalom.